Our chair now recognizes the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Mr. Turner from Ohio. Director Cheadle, your opening statement indicates that the Secret Service constructed a security plan for the site in, in Pennsylvania. I'm assuming that security plan would also include the security footprint for the site, but it also would be based upon a threat assessment for the risk threats associated with Donald Trump and the crowd in attendance. Would it not include a threat assessment? Yes, it would. So that threat assessment, as we know, um, basically would have started with there's a generalized threat against Donald Trump because he is a presidential candidate. Then it would have gone to he's a former president and he gets uh, security coverage just as Bush, Clinton, Carter, and Obama do. And then you also have the heightened political environment. Even for those, it's clear that the uh, security footprint, that the threat assessment was insufficient, which permitted that a 20-year-old to actually enter with a weapon and shoot Donald Trump. But I want to ask you about two other aspects of the threat assessment. Uh, it is known and public that Iran is a threat risk for Donald Trump. They're a threat risk for John Bolton, former Secretary of State Pompeo, and Donald Trump because they have indicated they want to assassinate them as a result of retaliation for the killing of Soleimani. That is both, uh, for Iran, a generalized threat. They're targeting these individuals, but also, most recently, a specific threat to Donald Trump himself. Now, I want to uh, enter into the record by UC, um, a uh, Department of Justice public affairs release, a CNN article, a, um, an article from Fox News, and an article from CBS, all of which acknowledge Without objection to order. that this threat exists for Donald Trump from Iran, and that there are specific threats, most recently, that have been acknowledged. Director Cheadle, have you read the intelligence of the generalized threat to Donald Trump by Iran as a result of their desire to retaliate for the killing of Sol Sol excuse me, Sol Soleimani? I have. Um, have you read or been briefed about the intelligence of the specific recent threat to Donald Trump from Iran? Yes, I have. Director Ray, when we were getting our briefing, indicated that he thought the threat assessment should have included this threat from Iran. Is it your testimony today that the threat assessment, since you've read this intelligence, was sufficient to protect him from this threat from Iran? My testimony today is that the information that we had at the time was known. Uh, that was it sufficient? Director Cheadle, was it sufficient for the Iranian threat that you said you have read the intelligence briefings for? That information was passed to... Well, I'm not asking uh, the bureaucratic issue of who did it get passed around to. Director Cheadle, was it sufficient for the specific and generalized threat to Donald Trump's life from Iran? Yes, I do believe it was. <clears throat> Director Cheadle, is an Iranian assassin more capable than a 20-year-old? Sir, I think we've acknowledged that there was gaps and a failure that day. We are when I raised this issue with Director Ray, he was incensed. He, he was shocked that the threat assessment of Iran did not seem to be, as we and I discussed, baked in to your security footprint and your threat assessment. And he went on to say that the generalized threat that he has told the whole country that we are under from a terrorist a potential terrorist threat. He has said we're under the highest threat level since 9-11, that the lights are flashing red. And he has specifically indicated that people have crossed the southern border as a result of the Biden administration's policy and that there are in our country today terrorists and uh, individuals who are affiliated with terrorist groups and organizations. That would be a heightened threat environment, Director Cheadle, would it not? Yes. In his public statements, he has said he is making these statements because he wants people to take them into consideration in threat assessments, specifically. Mm -hmm. Now, that would be a threat not just to Donald Trump, but it would also be a threat to the crowd there, wouldn't it? Yes. Are ISIS terrorists and al-Qaeda terrorists and international groups and terrorists more capable than a 20-year-old in pulling off their mass shooting or an assassination of Donald Trump? Sir, again, there was clearly a breakdown right. and a failure that day. Have you read the intelligence of the terrorists that are currently in the United States that Director Ray speaks and those individuals that are here that are affiliated with terrorist groups and organizations that are in the process, as Director Ray said, of representing a significant threat of a terrorist attack occurring in the United States? I have read reports that apply specifically to the Secret Service's mission. 
Director Cheadle, because Donald Trump is alive, and thank God he is, you look incompetent. If Donald Trump had been killed, you would have looked culpable. There is no aspect of this that indicates that there has been any protection to Donald Trump. The threat was, was identified before he took stay, the stage, and the shooter was only killed after Donald Trump himself was killed. Not only should you resign if you refuse to do so, President Biden needs to fire you because his life, Donald Trump's life, and all the other people which you protect are at risk because you have no concept of the aspect that the security footprint needs to be correlated to the threat. I yield back. 